Welcome back guys to another beer review. You're watching all the beer no idea. I'm Baz, as always. Need to get myself sorted. So, what we got coming up, if you've seen the post on YouTube before, is a Belgium ale now. And it's from Brasserie de Silly. And this is a Belgian Scotch ale. So it's a bottle of their Scotch, as they call it. So it's a Belgian Scotch ale. It's coming in at 8% in a 330ml bottle. Uh, I think I've had this about a year and a half now. I think my missus got it for me, not for me last birthday, I think the year before, but it could have been the Christmas before, I don't, I don't know. But it's, uh, it's still in date anyway, so uh, there we go. There's an interesting story behind this beer, actually. Uh, if you go online and search uh, Silly Scotch Ale, you'll be able to see a little story about it. But it's the same recipe that's been brewed since World War One. They've stuck with it ever since. So uh, there's their label. Usual sort of label, they just have different colours. There is the bottle cap, which is like a little bloke having a drink. Looks really good. So it's a Belgium ale, and I'm having it in a Dutch glass, but what the hell, but you know, let's get on with it. Hope you're all well. I'm feeling a little bit jaded, as you do. When you do too much work. I'm expecting big things from this. Uh, from some of the, just from what it was saying about, not necessarily about the beer, uh, but about it being made and everything. It's, it's got me quite intrigued by it. Uh, I don't know if it's gonna be a bit of a whiskey thing or something, I'm not sure. So that, uh, we'll see, won't we? There is a little bit left in the glass, so we'll leave it for now. Beer in a glass. Uh, in the camera, it's probably looking like a very sort of deep, dark chestnut. It's not black. It may look black in there, but it's not. It's, it's like a very deep, dark sort of chestnut with a reddy hue in there. There's lots of carbonation going up the glass. I can see we've got phew, what probably was a two finger of really compact, slightly off white head. It looks like a real decent beer. I'm going to see if I can just get the rest in and then we'll crack on. Looks really good. If it's going to be a whiskey kind of thing, it might not be my thing, but hey-ho, we'll go along with that. So, let's give her a swirl, dive in on the nose, see what we get. Yeah, it's definitely, you're definitely getting sort of like a whiskey thing in there for me. It's got that. Well, maybe not, no. There's maybe an, a, a sort of inkling about it. Maybe I'm just telling myself it's, a, it's going to be a whiskey thing, but rich, very rich dark sort of dried fruit sort of aromas in there. Figgy, raisin, currant sultanas, that sort of thing going on. Uh, you know, it gives the impression of something, if not whiskey, almost port-like, that sort of, sort of alcohol sort of aroma in there. It definitely smells like a sipper. So without further ado, let's stop talking. Let's give it a go, see what we get. Ooh, it's a rich one that is. Uh, where should we start? Taste wise, I'm gonna, I'm gonna do a little bit different this time. Well, I was going to. Body's quite nice. Very, very smooth in the mouth. It's a decent body. Nice smoothness to it. Carbonation is gentle. Just little bubbles that just caress the inside of your mouth. Yeah, mouth feels beautiful. The bubbles are small. Even though it's quite busy in there with the carbonation, they are still really soft and they really don't affect the mouth feel. Taste wise, very much very much sort of it's got that sort of christmas cake christmas pudding sort of feel in there rich dark sort of fruits dried fruits like i say raisin sultana sort of thing going on even maybe a bit figgy daisy a lovely rich malty taste to it you are getting a pork like feel vineness in this beer but it's really nice all, all the flavors 
blend perfectly, really, really complement each other well. 8%. 8% is there. For me, uh, that 8% is extremely well, well hidden. Uh, there's just... There's just a little tickle, an inkling of this, uh, of an al a bit of alcohol in there. That it's it's so well hidden, it's unreal. You do get that that richness is the only thing that maybe gives it a bit of feel of sort of alcohol. But other than that, there's no burn, there's no warmth. It's got a bit of an aniseed, licorice sort of thing going on in the background as well. There's a sweetness on the intake of the mouthful, on the back end, very sort of gentle bitterness. Maybe that gentle bitterness is coming from the, the sort of licorice feel about it, but I'll tell you what, that, I'll tell you what, it's a shame it's only a 330ml bottle because Brasserie de Silly Scotch Ale is an absolute belter and uh, I wasn't really sure what to expect with it. I didn't know if it was sort of going to have a whiskey thing in there or sink or be, you know, I don't know. I just didn't know what to expect, but that is a belter. And uh, I reckon if you see that about and you like your dark beers, give it a go. So for me, like I say, it's a winner. Well worth picking up if you see it. If you've had it before, let me know what you think. Feel free to comment. Uh, excuse me. Thank you all for watching. Feel free to subscribe if you want to. If you want to be notified of any videos that are coming out, it'll either be somewhere in that corner or somewhere in that corner, God knows, one of them. On the screen, there'll be a bell, so just click that. You'll be not notified every time I release a video. I'm going to leave it there, let you get on with your Tuesday evening. Thank you all for watching, and I'll see you again on another beer review. Cheers.